Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie. <clears throat> and I've come on here because I've uh, been doing a little bit of investigating into the Gareth Williams case. As you know, we had a little bit of a laugh about uh, Peter Folding being mis mistakenly described as a yoga specialist. Uh, I hope he has a sense of humour because it, it was just funny that he was described as that. But obviously, Peter is not, as far as I know, a yoga specialist. But then I started looking into who was the yoga specialist, who was the other, or who was the other person who said they didn't think it could be done. However, they were that they said, like Peter Folden said, he definitely thought. Um, it couldn't be done and it was definitely foul play. Um, but the other specialist who testified at the inquest <clears throat> said that he couldn't do it or couldn't see how it could be done, but he didn't rule out the possibility that it could be done. And then now I've also found another video which shows that it, uh, in fact, can be done. So, gosh, it's a, there's a real, you know, mismatch. It, this is a very mysterious case. And for those of you who don't know what it's about, is this is about Gareth Williams, who was a spy, I suppose, or a code breaker. Nobody's really sure exactly what he did because the nature of what he did uh, for MI6 uh, was secretive. So I don't think we really know exactly what he did. And he was found one day uh, after being missing for quite a long time. It was quite a long time before he was reported missing. He was found in a hole doll, deceased, curled up in his bath, in his flat. And ever since then, of course, there's been much controversy about how he got in there. Did he put himself in there? And if he did, it meant he had to... Um, lock the padlock on the back there was a padlock on the back that had to be locked from the outside uh he, the key was under his body the key to the bag was under his body um so yeah so so some however he did have a little bit of a track record if you like of escapology because he had once had to have been rescued by his landlord and landlady after screaming out because he had uh, tied himself to his bed and he couldn't uh, get out of the knot. So was he, did he have an interest in escapology? He was a very fit guy. There are many people who could fit in that bag. No, uh, not Peter, not Peter Folding, not the, uh, well, the, fo the yoga guy, the other guy. Uh, got into the bag, but he, do, he couldn't see how it could be padlocked. But the other video that we're going to look at, we're going to see how somebody did get into the bag and did manage to padlock it closed. So, you know, it is one of those complete mystery, and I am completely on the fence on this. Though I am sort of edging a bit towards maybe he did do it to himself. Uh, you know, maybe he wanted to, because I, I, well, let's put it, there's two scenarios to me, either obviously it was foul play, uh, but then I'm not really sure why they would have done it that way. If it was the Russians or it was MI5 or if it, whoever it was, why did they do that? Or was it just to cause so much mystery? Uh, you know, why didn't they just go in their, you know, execution style or find another way of doing it? You know, uh, anyway, so there's all this conjecture. Uh, a Russian guy, who, a defector who now lives in the UK, has said that it was the Russians and they poured poison in his ear and um, then put him in the bag. But I, don't, I just think, why would they do that? That's what I don't understand. Why not just sort of execute him in a much more simple manner? Um, you know, but anyway... So, yeah, so he did have a little bit of a record with um, escapology. Maybe he was a little bit fascinated whether he could do it. And I thought, it, I could imagine that what could have happened, he's gone in there, he's padlocked it shut just to see if he could do it. And then he's dropped the key and not being able to get hold of the key and not being able to get out again and not realised 
that apparently carbon dioxide poisoning would happen very quickly. You know, so maybe it literally was just an accident. That's the other possibility, isn't it? And I know there'll be some of you out there going, no, no, it can't have happened like that. But anyway, these are the possibilities we've got. And there, recently the police have conducted an investigation and said, because uh, there was some trace DNA found that was mysterious, uh, it couldn't be, because this happened in 2012, I think, so quite a long time ago. And uh, But now DNA testing has advanced. And they've been able to test this trace DNA. And it is his. So there is nobody else's DNA uh, was found. But not much DNA in general was found. So that's another mystery is why was his fingerprints not on the bath? Because he was found in the bath, in the hole door, in the bath. So anyway, I just, because I'd found these um, different videos, I thought, be good for us to have a look at them and you tell me what you think i expect no be shouting me no it's definitely foul play but it's it's interesting and you know i feel very sorry for his family because they they think it's a cover-up and they'll have been told now by the police that the police think he was on his own when he died so in other words that he did do it to himself uh, not deliberately to kill himself, but, you know, maybe an accident. That, that's what occurred to me. Maybe he was just seeing, you know, if, if he was if he was a person who was, uh, you know, had an interest in escapology, etc., um, maybe he did do it to himself. So I don't know. I, I mean, I literally do not know. I'm just, you know, the, the purpose of this channel, of course, is to provide you with interesting things to watch and you can talk about them and, uh, you know, decide what you think. And uh, remember to be polite in your comments. Don't give hate to anybody. Uh, everybody is entitled to their opinion on my channel as long as they are respectful, not only to me, but to each other. So, yeah, have your opinion. If you don't agree with somebody else's opinion and you can't, you know, you can always scroll past it to the next one. But please uh, don't uh, attack other people. Okay, so let's have a look then at the first video. So the first video is the um, yoga specialist who genuinely is, a, I think, a yoga specialist who I think the, 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 the uh, video I did the other day, because they said that was, Peter Falden was the yoga specialist. And I think this is who they meant. And this actually is the video of him trying to lock himself in, in the bag. And this says here he is a yoga expert. Oh, it happened in 2010, the actual incident. And it was in Pimlico in London. And this guy is William Mackay. And in this video, he is seen attempting to lock himself into a bag. Let's see. Now, I did notice even with the Peter folding video, he did manage to more or less get himself in the bag. The issue seems to be, because not this is a similar bag to the one Gareth, but the issue seems to be not so much getting into the bag, because this guy has got into the bag. The issue is closing the locks, you know, and actually padlocking it close and then getting your hand back in. That seems to be the main issue here. Even Peter Folding nearly got in the bag. So, you know, he's struggling to get the, the padlock, even though somebody seems to be helping him there. He's struggling to actually, you know, he's in the bag. It's got the zip more or less closed, but to close the zip completely, padlock it, and then get your hand back in the bag. Mm. 
Yeah, even though someone's trying to help him there by opening it up, he can't do it. Let's just watch that one more time from the beginning. Yeah, so he's trying to put the padlock on the both, you know, there's, there's one of those zips that sort of goes halfway each way. So he's put the padlock, he's trying to put the padlock on, he's got in the bag and he's more or less got it zipped up. But what he's struggling to do is get the padlock on the both parts of the zip, close it up, lock it and get his hand back in. Apparently, you tried a hundred times to do this. Okay, so that's him. Now, he went on to say he tried a hundred more than a hundred times without success, but that does not mean that Williams could not have succeeded. He does go on to say, I don't know if it's here. No, uh, he did say in another article that I was reading that it's possible uh, because um, Gareth uh, was like mountaineer and things that his hands may have been stronger. And Gareth was only 31. I think this man is a fair bit older than that. So obviously your bones get more brittle. Your fingers are not so uh, strong as Gareth's fingers would have been. So that's just something so you know, let me know what you think. But he was in the bag. It's a question of whether he could get on the actual um, padlock. Padlock. Whereas in this video that we're going to see now, we see a, a reporter of all people. So this is a reporter. She's not a yoga expert as far as I know. She's a reporter from the Southwest News Service. She did manage to lock herself into the hold door. Um, so I think that Gareth will, uh, yeah, Gareth Williams would have been very, very fit and very, very um, able to contort himself. So I do think he could have got himself in the bag as easy as she gets herself into the bag. And look how easy she gets into it. It is much easier than you would think for her. I mean, I wouldn't have a chance of getting in it, but. But she just steps into it, sort of, you know, manoeuvres herself around a little bit. She makes you see that it actually isn't as difficult for someone who's supple and uh, slim, supple, fit, etc. Look how easy she did it. So easy. Anyway, then there's the, ne the next challenge, of course, is getting the zips fastened. And this is, you know, what the yoga guy couldn't do. He got himself, because she, she's got room to spare and they could fit two of her. <laughs> not quite. But, you know, like she's not like struggling for space. She's quite comfortable in there. And um, look, this is how she does it. I'm wondering if, if he did do it himself, maybe that's why he did it in the bath, so that it wouldn't roll over. You know, the bath would stop him rolling over. He might have tried it before, you never know. And he had, there were two of these bags in his flat. Right, so she's a little struggle here trying to get them, but she's doing it. What's she got there? Yeah, pulling it up, doing it. She manages to get the padlock on. She manages to lock it. And see how she's left a little gap there for a hand. And I'm just wondering, did, did he do it just to see if he could do it? Did he do it in the bath so that he wouldn't roll over? Because she's up against a wall there. You could see that he could just roll over and then that would be difficult. 
Now, he's showing there that it is locked. She's managed to do it. She's locked the padlock. She's taken the key in there. And then did he drop the key or did he get overcome by carbon dioxide poisoning? So this guy's got a spare key because, unfortunately, there was nobody there with Gareth. Apparently, you know, it may not have been anyone there with Gareth if he did it. They're letting her out before the carbon dioxide. Yeah, she makes it look like this actually quite a lot of room in there. You know, she's obviously very slender. Maybe she's smaller than Gareth. Let's just watch it one more time. Just thought it's interesting to see it from another point of view, from the point of view that maybe it could have happened. So he was naked, remember, when he went in, which, of course, Peter wasn't, or the yoga guy, or this girl. But she's got no shoes on. She was brave to do it in a skirt as well. Because she could have done it in like leggings and uh but yeah she just makes it look quite easy there going in i think then this is the tricky bit isn't it getting the zip done though she don't it doesn't look that difficult now there's a little edit here i'll show you in a minute but so far this has not been stopped at all this video Sure, there's a, a, a one little bit where it's edited. Oh, and she pulls herself over. She's got the padlock. Gosh, I would hate to be in there. He's so claustrophobic. Now she, yeah, there was a little edit there. So she seemed to be struggling a bit, whether they helped her out a little bit, I don't know. Maybe straight, straightened it out a bit. Honestly, this is a real sort of brain teaser, isn't it? I mean... You know, with many things that I look at, I get a feeling of what I think. It may not be correct, but, you know, I get, like, at least a confident feeling that I say that's what I think. But with this, I wouldn't be surprised if he did do it himself. And I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. You know, I literally feel that unsure about it. Yeah, so it's all lot. She's done that herself. Very interesting. Yeah. It's, you know, I suppose if you're supple enough, if you maybe double jointed or whatever, you know, why not? So I'm sure you'll let me know in comments, but remember, be respectful. Uh, and, um, Gosh, rest in peace, Gareth. But uh, I wonder if anybody out there who and it's, I have some subscribers like who are uh, and members who are into like a bit of the psychic uh, psychic medium things, tarot cards. What uh, has anybody made contact? You know, any because I have an open mind to that too. Maybe there's somebody who has had some sort of contact with Gareth uh, or get some sort of feeling of um you know who knows about that kind of thing who knows how to do that kind of thing i'd be intrigued if if you you know if you want if there's some one of you out there who'd like to come on and talk about what you feel or any reading that you've done about gareth and what your thoughts are I'd be interested in that i think my chatters would be interested in that to chat about that but anyway yes so uh, of course i've forgotten to thank people uh which i should not do Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and being members. If you've bought me a Kofi, if you PayPal me or sent me a super chat, thank you so much. And also to all of you that bought my merchandise. And remember, if you're a member every month, I'm giving away some merchandise. And I've just, I've given some away already uh, this month, but I've just received uh the next the next one which i'm going to be telling you about in the next members live so 
Thank you so much. I'm doing it in the order of the length of time that people have been members for. Uh, just trying to give you a little bit back. I really appreciate people being members of my channel, etc. So remember to live and love wisely and carefully. Please, I must stress, do not try it yourself at home, especially if you're on your own. I mean, if you, there's, somebody, there's somebody there and that's fine. But uh, please, please, please do not try to do that at home because it may well be that uh, Gareth died because he was starved of oxygen when he dropped the key. So please don't try that at home. Anyway, I'll see you again very soon in the next video. And until then, may your God go with you. Bye.